When someone dies, you expect their worldly possessions would go to their nearest and dearest. It was always Grandad Mick to me. But what if the deceased had no known relatives and there is no last will and testament? I haven't got a relative left in the world. Well, the house, money, everything goes to the government unless the air hunters step in. We could be talking of a state running into the tens of millions of pounds. Air hunters. Think the desperate search for bodies like CSI, only instead of murder, it's money. With millions of pounds at stake every episode. Each self-contained show follows the hunt as investigators race against the clock and the competition to track down long-lost relatives. A dream, a dream come true. <laughs> and bring them the news. You get a phone call to say you may inherit some money. Both good. We could be talking about an estate of about 20,000 pounds, which is good news. And bad. Your brother, Sydney, unfortunately has died. He died last year. It's a heartbreaking mix of meticulous detective work. You're joking. So it had to be somebody out there. The deceased had a sister. So that looks good. Fortune hunting and the ultimate life-changing moments. Three stories will be covered in each episode. One from the past, the tale told through reenactments, archive and interviews, mixing history with lives changed by an unexpected windfall, the ultimate in wish fulfillment. <laughs> One, a present case, with every twist and turn of the investigation unfolding throughout the show. Almost a faded person like a ghost. And we also weave an unsolved air hunting story throughout the episode, giving viewers hints and clues to see if the money might be rightfully theirs. Is there a fortune out there with your name on it?